Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Frostbite Channel. Justin Jenkin here once again with my main man, Souk Dog. Now, he has this whole seat to himself, yet he still sits on the armrest. I don't know why he thinks that's the best spot to sit, but Suka's going to Suka, and I think it's time that I just accepted that. So as you can probably tell by the lighting outside, I'm a little bit late for work today, so please don't tell my bosses. I had to stop and get my regular breakfast order. Can I get two extra large coffees? And then could I get four sausage, no egg McMuffins? No egg, definitely no egg. Hard no on the egg. And if AP, Aaron Weeb, or Mark Tully happen to watch this video, it's not my fault. I got stuck behind a train. The McDonald's lineup was long. Suka was doing stuff. No, I'm just kidding. We're not that late. It's like, 20 minutes to 8 in the morning. We don't have too long of a ride to get to where we're going. What we're doing today is something that I told myself I was going to wait as long as possible to do, but I think we all kind of knew that this was inevitable and going to happen sooner rather than later. We only have the Ram as our transportation. We don't have any snowmobile in tow. So what we're going to do is hit the ice roads on Lake of the Woods and attempt to get into some ice road lake trout. Up here in Northwestern Ontario, and especially Lake of the Woods, we're kind of blessed with fairly easy access to the lake. It's certainly not going to be the same kind of fishing as what we've experienced up in Nunavut. There's going to be far less numbers for sure. I think the average for this area that I'm fishing is probably like zero to two, maybe three lake trout in a day would be a good day. I find that these lake trouts out here in Northwestern Ontario fight pound for pound a lot harder than the Northern ones. And I think it just kind of eases the pain a little bit to just like kind of almost view them as a different species. Oh, I need to grab this camera. It is shaking around. Can't be having that. So the main spots that I look for out here in Northwestern Ontario are big, long extending points that kind of poke out into the main basin of the lake. So that's what we're gonna look for. We're gonna just cruise down these ice roads here and see if we can find a spot similar to that. So yeah, I guess we'll get to it. I am making my way down the ice road here. I'll give you a little look at what we're looking at and we will see you at the spot. Check this out. This thing on? Okay, we're here at the spot. As you can see, it's a nice, beautiful, overcasty morning here on Lake of the Woods. It is so freaking warm out here. I cannot believe that this is what winters are like down here. It's been three years since I've been down here for a winter and for anybody that complains and says Canada's winters are cold, suck it up you little babies. This is beautiful. I certainly wasn't saying that the other day while I was getting racked fishing for walleyes, but today I can confidently say that this ain't nothing. So what we have right in front of us is a nice point sticking out. There's a set of narrows to our left. So there is likely some current blowing through here Got this point with a nice drop off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop a hole. We're gonna use the panoptics to find the edge of that drop off. So I'm gonna punch a hole right here. I'm gonna plop the panoptics in and we are going to scan and see how far we have to drill to set up and fish for the day. Okay, so basically what I wanna find here is just like the steepest looking drop. We'll just do a little scan. Oh, it looks like there's a fish right below us. You know what, F it, let's drop down quick. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one aggressive presentation and we're gonna have one dead stick or like finesse presentation. So here I find in Lake of the Woods in Northwestern Ontario, fish are eating much smaller bait. So what we have here is a little derby slayer. It's a minier version of the dragon slayer, just a little more finesse on a little quarter ounce a jig. For punch number two, we are going to rock the 60 millimeter sparkle shiner tantrum. Now, typically if I were fishing elsewhere for lake trout, I'd probably go with the 100 millimeter tantrum. But like I mentioned earlier, fish here favor smaller baits, it seems. So we'll start with the 60. And if we notice that fish are charged up, maybe we'll upsize. But for now, we'll start right in the middle with the 60 millimeter. Good day, soup dog. So we're just gonna leave the mini slayer mostly dead stick, I guess. We'll play around with it if a fish shows up, but Oh, there's a fish down below. I just love how you can totally tell when a fish is going to be a lake trout and when it's not. So you stop north when pretty well every fish has got to be a lake trout because there's a quite the lack of diversity of species. Oh, there's a big mark. That's a, that's a lake trout for sure. Down below, down below. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. I can't see our bait. Oh boy, it's coming right up at us. We're going to get this fish. Oh, he's charging. Look at that fish. Come on, got him. Yes. Oh, baby. Well, that didn't take as long as I thought. Ooh. He's fighting pretty good at the bottom of the hole. I'm not sure the size of this fish. It 
it has weight, but it hasn't really started fighting it. I don't think it knows it's hooked, as they say. This might be an alright one. The Mr. Big is just getting it done so nicely. There we go, there's a run. Oh boy, this is an okay one. Look at that run. Oh my goodness. Hole's a little slushy so I can't see it. Some nice bubble action. Whew. This fish is fighting so weird. Is it good? Ah, it's so sunny out, it's hard to see. Oh, those are big head shakes. Is this a nice one? Oh boy. Come on, baby. Jeez. I think this might be a good one. There he is. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a super good one. Wow. Wow. Oh no, come on, get back up here. Oh, it's barely freaking hooked. Oh, we got him! Wow, that's a beauty! Okay. Oh. Just gonna turn this camera. Yeah, baby! Check that beauty out! That is such a nice fish. Wow! That is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, okay. Let's get him on the bumper and we'll get him back right away. It's super nice outside today, so we don't have too much to worry about. That's a 33 incher. Okay, let's get her back. She's charged up. She's going to take off right away. There she goes. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's a really good start. Uh, that's, that fish was much bigger than I thought it was going to be. At first, it didn't even fight, like, at all. And then got up to the hole and started doing its thing. Just like Lake Trout so freaking often do. Yes, that's a good start to the morning. Well, that brings my confidence right up. I think that maybe we should set up the shack. Okay, we're good. Now I just want to let the record show that it's not cold outside for me. It's cold outside for fishing line and camera equipment and it's not my fault that that stuff does not match my physical and mental toughness. Okay, so we are finally set up in the shack. Why? Stop, what are you doing freak? He's trying to lick my hands because I have lake trout slime on it. Buzz off. Go find a friend or something. Okay, so that's where it needs to be. Can you please excuse me, Suka? And for the active jig and rod, we're gonna slide with the sexy shad, 100 millimeter tantrum. Big bait, big fish. Our main objective with this rattle bait is to make some noise, we'll call some fish in, and seal the deal with the dragon slayer, or get bit on the tantrum. Either way, I'm not picky. Fish, fish, fish! Oh my god, I was scooping the hole! No! Oh, here he comes, here he comes. This has got to be a lake trout for sure. He's charging it so fast. Oh, come on, bite, 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 bite! This one's so much more tentative than the other one. Look at him charge it up. He's traveled so much. Oh no! Where are you going? Oh, come on! Don't be like this. We need this. No! Come on, bro! No! What a coward! Why? Now, the rod I'm ripping this full size Dragon Slayer on is the Mr. Big. It's a 43 inch heavy graphite rod. Now, if you've ever watched any of my previous Lake Trout fishing videos, you'll probably remember me mentioning how the Mr. Big and the Slugger are pretty much my number one and number two arsenal for Lake Trout applications. I've always said the Mr. Big is like the do all rod for anything like three quarters of an ounce to maybe ounce and a half at the higher end of the spectrum. The Slugger I use for any baits that are above and beyond ounce and a half, and I've used up to like five, six ounce baits with it super effectively. But new to the Frostbite lineup this year is the Drama Queen, 45 inch medium heavy fiberglass rod. Now that slides perfectly into my lake trout lineup and it covers basically anything under the Mr. Big. So anything under three quarters of an ounce kind of deal. 
Now those three rods are accompanied by another new rod to the lineup this year. It's the 39 inch heavy fiberglass dump truck, which is the absolute perfect big rattle bait rod. You pretty well have all of your angles covered. So those, those are realistically my four staple lake trout rods. Slugger on the heavy end. Mr. Big for baits a little bit smaller than what the slugger will rip. Drama Queen for anything below the Mr. Big. And then the dump truck for big rattle baits. The reason I like the dump truck for rattle baits is because it's a fiberglass rod, so it has a little bit slower of a taper. So it bends to allow for that rattle bait to do its rattling action. Now this dump truck that I have here is especially deadly because it is my only rod in the Vanta Black series. So the difference between the Twilight and the Vanta Black is the fact that the Vanta Black does not have a reel seat, so it lightens up the rod quite a bit. And it also has titanium eyes, so you can bend them out of shape and they snap right back. And that might seem a little bit irrelevant, but when you're fishing outside and your guides get all iced up, a little snap and they are completely ice free, which is super, super nice. And you know what they say, once you go Vanta Black, you don't go Vanta Back. Now let's get back to fishing. I caught a nice lake trout for the first time in so long. It wasn't too big, it was like 33, but nice, nice fat one. What up, are you in the... In Okay, well, um, yeah, I'll holler at you in a little while and we'll, uh, we'll make a plan. Get it all sorted out. I want all the spots as soon as I get there. Okay, bro, what are you going to eat the f***ing minnows for? You have dog food. Look at this, this fish is charged up. What is this? Is this a lake trout? Oh, I bumped it. This might be a small laker. Oh, I bumped it again, what the F? It's not showing up very big on the screen, but wow, it likes to fall. Oh, I just charged it and missed. Got him. Drag a little loose. bad one. Oh, that's a huge whitefish. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. That's the biggest whitefish I've ever seen. Holy jeez. That is not what I thought that was going to be. Oh my god. How big is this thing? Holy smokes. This is a gigantic whitefish. Holy smokes. These things are so hard to hold. Holy Oh my god, why is this? Gee, have a look at this freaking whitefish. Oh my god. I have never seen a whitefish this big in my whole life. I gotta get this on the bump board and see how big it is. Okay. Jeez. Let me just give you one more look at this monster of a whitefish. Oh my goodness. Holy, I'm certainly not upset that that's not a lake trout. All right, let's get this guy back. Whew, that's huge. That is my biggest whitefish by far. There he goes. Holy smokes. I am absolutely covered in fish slime now. Those fish are so hard to hold. But that, that is no question the biggest white fish I've ever seen in my whole life. I know it's a beautiful day and it's still quite early. I think it's just about one o'clock now or so. And I'd love to stay out here and keep fishing, but I just received a call from the boss and Soup Dog and I are being summoned to our next location. I'm not gonna tell you where it is just yet. Maybe let's see if anybody can guess in the comments where we're going. I can assure you there are big mamas there, of several different species. But yeah, I'm gonna get this stuff all packed up. I gotta go run some errands in town before heading up the next location. Thanks again for tuning into the Frostblade channel. Till next time, peace.